Adobe XD got a brand new update. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the brand new Adobe XD update. So here's everything you need to know for the October 2021 update. First up, we have Lottie playback. This is a really big one because now we can use these Lottie animations in our designs and then transfer that to our app or website without having to create extra work for ourselves via prototyping. So to start working with the Lottie file inside of XD, we're obviously going to need ourselves a Lottie animation. If you're interested in creating Lottie animations for yourself, there's various ways to do that. I might make a tutorial on it, but today we're gonna to be using a plugin here inside of Adobe XD called Lottie Files. I'll show you how to install that right now. And if you need some Lottie files, you can go ahead and install the brand new plugin that released with this. It's the Lottie files for Adobe XD, and you can get that for free. And then we can open that in Adobe XD. So if I open up the plugins panel, I can find the Lottie files plugin, and then I can log in via the browser. Once you log in, you just have to grant access, and then you get this nice check mark here, and then you head back to XD. And here we have the Lottie files that we can use. So whether you're using the plugin here like I am, or you're importing your own, you can either drag them straight in, or you can drag them into a container. So I'll just create a rectangle and then drag it in, and that's gonna determine the size and scale of that file. So if I select a Lottie file, we have some controls over this. Pretty simple controls here. We have the loop button and the playback controls drop down menu. So you can control how this Lottie animation is gonna run in your prototype. One cool way we can use these is by navigating from one artboard to the next. So you can think of this one over here as a loading screen. I have this Lottie animation and it's got a time trigger. That's just the default play automatic there. And if I drag out a new wire, I have the option over here in triggers for end of playback. So I'm just gonna set up a very basic transition, not gonna do anything fancy here, just to show off this example. So here in the live preview, you can see the nice Lottie animation, and when it completes, my artboard is going to shift to the next one. These Lottie animations also work with component states. Here I've got a like button with the default state, and then I have the like state where it fills in. So if I expand the component, you can see I have this confetti animation in the background set to 0% on no playback. If I then switch to the liked state of this component, the confetti is at 100% and it plays automatically just one time. It's not going to loop or anything. So if I set this back to the default state and hit live preview, nothing's going to happen. And then when we select this, we have a nice little confetti and that's the interaction. So these also work with component states as well. This next feature is video playback. I've seen a lot of comments asking if we could do this in the past, and now we finally can. We can now import and embed playable videos directly into our prototypes. So here I have my folder open, and I have this video that I want to add into this rectangle. This is the placeholder for this video. So I'll just drag that in and drop it into the rectangle. I've also tried adding a very large file and it said 15 megabytes, I believe is the cap for the video size. So you'll want to pay attention to that when you're trying to add one to your prototypes. Since I've dragged that into this rectangle, it's now a masked group since it's inside of that rectangle. And then I can select the video and we have these options here on the right where I can set the playback. I'm going to set it to play automatically. You also have this icon here where you can click on it and you can trim the video if you want. So you can scrub through and figure out where you want the video to start. You can also toggle on and off the audio and you can decide whether you want it to loop or not. And this button will allow you to import a thumbnail that'll be available before the video starts playing. So if I go to desktop preview, you can see here in my web design, I have my video over here on the right. I've lowered the opacity just a little bit to match my original design and it's playing here inside of my prototype. And along with the video capability, we now have videos here in the assets panel, so you can reuse your video assets throughout your entire project. Also another really quick thing, they added asset organization. I believe we got this in the last update, but since it was by itself, they grouped it together with the blog post about this. So I'll just cover that here in this video. You can select, for example, colors, and then once you've shift clicked on both of them, you can right click new group from selection, and you can name this to group and organize a little bit further inside of your asset panel. Another new feature 
is share to Behance. We can now share our prototypes directly from XD to Behance. Simply click share right above the artboard or go to the share tab and create your link. You'll now notice that along with all the other settings we used to have to update your link and copy it, you can now select Behance. And when you click on this, it's going to take you directly to Behance where you can edit the project and then publish it publicly in just a few seconds. With this update also came some export improvements where you can now have a little bit more control over the quality of your images when you're exporting from Adobe XD. And with that, that's everything you need to know for the October 2021 update to Adobe XD. As always down in the description below, you can find the official blog post and feature list from Adobe themselves. Also down in the description will be the adobexd.uservoice.com website. And it's here where you can request features and vote on the ones that you want to see the most in a future update. The two big features of this month's update were actually the number one requested here. So we do have a voice, unless it's for the dark theme. At this point, I think we'll colonize Mars first. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. If you did, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.